thank you for giving me uh, such a great opportunity to attend our Retro Truby. So today, I'm going to introduce about the Roma. Uh, I'm a Hiroaki Iwase, and now uh, I'm working in the Lactane Inc. and the Use Ruby for the job. Lactane is a Japanese EC company, and we have uh, many global services in all over the world. In case of the Southeast Asia, we have uh, Tarat and Biki and local EC business, and specifically the Singapore. Singapore branch is a regional headquarter, and we develop the global service from Singapore. So let's go to the main topic. So first topic is the Roma. So as you know, the NoSQL is growing rapidly and rapidly, so NoSQL has many good services like Redis, React, and Mongo, and so on. So but the, I think the, it is a little difficult to choose a suitable product for the, your own service. So today, I propose the best solution. Solution is, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> solution is uh, <laughs> Roma. So of course, uh, I know that everybody does not know the Roma. So what about Roma? Roma is a Lactan Ruby on-memory architecture, and it is a Ruby-based distributed key value store. And this is uh, our project homepage and uh, SNS account. So I will show it again later. Please check it. Roma was uh, developed by RYT and with Mats and with as an OSS product. And Roma has a unique and good specialty. So first is uh, Roma adapted the uh, pure P2P architecture and uh, using a consistent hashing method. So it means uh, Roma have high scalability. And next is uh, Roma replicated data and recovering this data automatically when error happening. So it connected to the high fault tolerance. And next is uh, Roma's source code are uh, divided to the main logic and each command and each function. So uh, the plugin. So it means uh, it enabled to the developer to add a new function and a new command by easily. And also Roma have a memcached compatible protocol. So if you are using a memory cache now, it is very easy to move the Roma. Next is a storage system. Roma adjusted to the, to the same storage system. So for example, the Tokyo cabinet and Grunga and SQLite and of course you can use the OS memory like memory cache. So you can choose the storage type depending on your situation. So next topic is a gradiator. Gradiator is a GUI tool of Roma. So what can Gradiator do? Gradiator can do everything. So for example, the <laughs> not, not kidding. <laughs> the cluster control and the status setting and the log gathering and the connection analysis like a connection count and the connection resource rate. And in case of the just CUI management, you have to log in the server and check the process and the connect Roma via the telnet and check the status. So there has a many process. But in case of the using the Gradiator, so you can use the Roma more easily and more intuitively. So final topic is uh, how to use the Roma. So this is our GitHub page. So we prepare the same method to use the Roma. For example, Chef and Docker and Ruby James and of course you can download the directory via the GitHub. So and uh, it is uh, my request. So if you are using the Roma, please send us the, your question and feedback and request. And then I want to pick up the one frequently question. So sometimes I got to inquiry about the, what difference between the Roma and the other KBS. So but. Today, I do not pick up the specific product name because of the, I don't want to do the negative campaign. So <laughs> I will just show the uh, benchmark result briefly. So we did a benchmark test with Roma and other KBS and check the uh, basic latency and the throughput. So you can check the, this result from the, our top page of the latest article. Link is here. <laughs> so please check it. And as I said, Roma is an open source software, so I sincerely hope that you are joining the, our project and send a pull request. Thank you. 